Hi, my name is Eric Juma. I am a GIS biodiversity ecosystems expert, and I'll be taking you through GIS uh, practical. Uh, GIS practical is under conservation challenges in the global biodiversity framework. Uh, we shall be using the ArcGIS, uh, ArcGIS platform. ArcGIS is a GIS platform developed by ESRI. Uh, it is a suite of, uh, of uh, comprehensive uh, programs that include software, applications, and data. And uh, the very first uh, process to do, uh, or the very first step is to log into your ArcGIS accounts. Uh, if you have a problem logging into the accounts, we have a guide that was shared with you. Please uh, go through the guide and um, log in. If there's any other issue, then you can go to the community and we will help you. So. Uh, once you have logged into your ArcGIS uh, online account, uh, we will uh, explore on the various uh, methods of adding data into the map. Uh, first, I need you to click on the map uh, menu. It will take you to the screen where you will uh, be prompted to create your map. Uh, once you get to the screen, uh, there is a button called Add, and that is a button that we're going to use to add uh, our data. There are various methods of adding data. Uh, the first method is uh, adding data from a URL. Uh, so if you have your, your, your data hosted elsewhere, you can just go and, and get the link of that data, and then uh, we can proceed and add the data. So the very first uh, source of our data is uh, RCOE Geoportal. Uh, RCOE Geoportal is a, a geoportal of the Regional Center of Excellence uh, uh, project which has been implemented by RCMRD together with the C4 and funded by the European Union. So uh, I need you to go to the link that is provided on, to, on your screen and it will take you to, our, to the geo portal. On the geo portal, I need you to click on the data sets. Uh, click on the data sets and it will show you the various data sets uh, that are hosted in the geo portal. And I need you to uh, search for a data set called RCOE protected, uh, protected areas uh, polygons. Once you get that particular uh, data set, I need you to uh, click on it. And after clicking on it, um, you will find there is a section on your left uh, called uh, uh, View API Resources. Click on it, and it will give you two options that you can use to add your data. There is a geoservice link and there is also a GeoJSON geo link. Copy either of the links and switch back to the ArcGIS online account. And once you're there, I want you to paste uh, your URL on the URL section provided. Uh, I hope that we have already clicked on add layer from URL. Uh, once you click on that, it will give you that option of adding the URL. Uh, paste it there and then click on add map. Once you click on the add map, uh, it will uh, ask you for some more information. Uh, for example, it will ask you whether you want to create a hosted feature layer or whether you want to, uh, to use the file as a reference file from the URL. Uh, we don't need to create a hosted feature layer at the moment, uh, so you can just choose the second option. Reference the file from the URL and add it to the map. Uh, once you check uh, that option, uh, please click on Add to Map and your layer should be added to the map. So once you add your layer to the map, uh, the second procedure we need to do is to rename our file, uh, our layer, uh, go to that particular layer that is added, and beside it, we have the three dots. I need you to click on the three dots and then choose the option rename. Uh, once you click on rename, it will give you the option uh, for renaming that particular file or that particular layer. Uh, give it the name, um, uh, R, give it, call it protected and conserved areas of your country. And your country, I need, to, I need you to, to select the country uh, of origin, where you, you are coming from. Once you give it that name, uh, click on, uh, on, uh, on the rename, and the name of the layer will change. Uh, I need you uh, to repeat the same process to add another layer called uh, uh, RCOE protected areas points. And then uh, 
uh, come back today, come back to the, to the ArcGIS accounts uh, window. Then the second procedure is that you can also add your data by using the browse uh, layers option. The browse layers option uh, allows you to select your data from either uh, your content, the one that you have host, hosted within the ArcGIS online account, or you can also add your data from uh, your favorite, uh, uh, your favorite data or from the groups that you are in or from your organization. If uh, you have data in your organization that, ha that has been shared with you, uh, you can still access it. Uh, you can still add data from Living Atlas or add, add data from uh, ArcGIS Online platform. Uh, and for this option is that particular uh, data that has been shared, shared with you or shared by, with the public. So um, uh, in this session, we shall be adding uh, the world cities into this map. So I need you to, to, to go and uh, click on, uh, on, on Browse Layers, then uh, choose the ArcGIS Online option and search for world cities, and then select the authoritative layer. The authoritative layer has a tick beside, below it. So once you, you select that particular layer, just click on add to map, and it will be added to, to the map. So by now, uh, your screen should be looking like the, 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 the right side of, of, the, of the presentation. It should have polygons and points, and cities are, are represented as, uh, as red, uh, big points. Then uh, uh, after adding that layer, I need us to um, explore uh, another option. Uh, I need us to save our, our, our web map. And to save our web map, uh, go to the save and open icon on the left side of the screen. Uh, it looks like a folder icon. Uh, on that uh, icon, I click on it and choose Save As. Uh, once you click on Save As, it will give you uh, another window where you can enter the title, you can choose the folder that you want to, to save in, uh, you can type the tags. Tags are phrases that you can use to search for your map, and then you can uh, give your, your map a summary. A summary is a best description of your map. And once you add all that information, click on Save, and um, your map will be saved. So we have a, a, detailed, uh, a detailed presentation or practical that will be delivered during the live session. I invite you to, to the live session. Otherwise, uh, you can visit the, the community and uh, type your questions there. Uh, if you have any issue accessing the account or doing any of the, of the processes, uh, you'll get help there. Thank you.